best things in life are free. The second best things in life are simple. Simpler Trading's free room is both free and simple. Check out Simpler Stream Week from June 21st to the 23rd for live market analysis right here on YouTube. Hey, good afternoon, Wednesday, and welcome to the futures update. Simple futures. This is uh, June fifteenth, Fed Day. We just had the announcement today with the rate decision, and then, of course, now we move into the um, uh, expiration in a quarter expiration triple witching on Friday, Monday next Monday is a holiday, and uh, so on and so forth. Not really, you know, same levels, same plan, same everything as the last I was with you on Monday. Um, we've got a little bit more information now since we did get the Fed out of the way. So here's a recap. Um, it's trading 4100, CPI breaks, um, the bottom of the box there, 40, call it 70, uh, breaks into... Um, where the CPI was. This is 4017. That's where it was at 7:30 in the morning on that Friday CPI. Broke to 3960. That's a target. Um, then you've got a gap at 3900. But to be honest with you, that target right there is really probably 3910. That's uh, that's a target. <clears throat> and then uh, the uh, weekly open is at uh, 38, 73, 4 right there, if you want to just kind of make a note of that. All right, so break, 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 excess low, lows in when finally we got our first uh, run of the trailing, most recent trailing, and in this case, lowest high because it was a series of lower highs which is one time framing lower that has ended as of today whereas today we reached up took out most recent uh, high and did that didn't have to but did that on a higher low as well and so that ends the one time framing lower <clears throat> that starts the potential now for one time framing higher, which now just requires a series of higher lows. So we got the trigger by breach of the trailing high, and we've started to establish uh, one time framing higher now, a series of higher lows. We need to keep that as of tomorrow, which means that tomorrow, Thursday, for this to remain intact, we hold today's low, and then Friday holds Thursday's low as long as that's the case, then it clearly, if it's making higher lows, we're stair-stepping higher into the uh, expiration. So here we go. Uh, we go uh, just, I think, really observation of the fact that uh, the weekly open was this, you know, 73 area, which moves us into uh, 39, call it 10 right there, call that T1. Uh, 3960, the uh, CPI, low of the break on the CPI, which is the uh, mean average of this two standard deviation uh, channel that I'm running here on this daily chart, as you can see, 3960. And then anything above that, you target 4017, 4017. But, you know, realistically, I'm just kind of focused on trying to see if uh, we can get well, the levels are 39, 10, 60, and 40, 17. So that's, that's the levels on the top. In order to see that, we got to uh, just this thing, what it's got to do, because it triggered today by breach of the trailing high. It did that on a higher low, which starts now to establish a series of one time framing up. And as long as it's doing that, and I told you how to do that, tomorrow holds today's low, Friday holds you know Thursday's low, etc. <clears throat> and then, of course, the weekend uh, uh, offers for a uh, holiday Monday, so it's an extended weekend. But, uh, all right, so let's say now that this thing fails and rolls over and starts lower, what's it, what's it after? Well, 37.50 right in here was the beginning of last year's 21, year 21 open. 
3650 was the low. Uh, that would be one idea for like call that T1 3650. Uh, and then I'd you know then I'd look into 3600, right? So uh, that starts by failing to hold the one time framing higher. I mean this thing means this thing's you know starts to try and try and try, rolls over, triggers by taking out today's low, breaches, looking for something lower. That low, that last low is no good because if you're a buyer, you need something better than, you know, I mean, you, you've, got, you've got to command some risk premium, which means new low, lower low. In which case, it's looking 36.50 for last year, 20, year 21's low, and then 3,600. Those would be the bearish targets, right? And also, that's how you get there. So uh, that's it. Good trade. Nice evening. Get ready for uh, the next round or bout, which will be um, expiration. And uh, of course, you know that's Friday. So till then, take care. Good trading. See you again at the next update. Without simpler trading, I could not have financial independence. This is one of the best investments I ever made in my life. It's helping me find consistency. It's one of the things that won me 